In this video, we'll take a look at how we have integrated Unreal header tool directly into Risharpa C++ and Rider for Unreal Engine. When working with an Unreal Engine project, we will automatically run Unreal header tool on the header file you're editing and display any errors or warnings as highlights in the editor, just like we do for other inspections. The Unreal header tool is an important part of the Unreal Engine build process. It parses C++ header files looking for Unreal-related macros and metadata and uses this to generate additional code to support the U-object system, such as reflection and networking. Mistakes in these macros are normally only discovered at compile time, so running the header tool as you edit and showing the results directly in the code editor can save you time, allowing you to fix issues early at edit time rather than later at compile time. Unreal header tool can detect lots of different issues with your code, such as missing reflection specifiers on a U function, using the U function macro inside a struct, or using the generated body macro in a private scope. When we load an Unreal Engine project, we find the specific Unreal header tool used during compilation, so we know that we are showing the same errors and warnings at edit time that you would normally see at compile time. And any updates to the header tool will bring new errors and warnings into the editor automatically. The highlights are configurable too. It is possible to change the severity, to show the inspections as hints, for example, or even hide them completely. And you can use the inspection menu in Alt-Enter to disable a warning at a specific location by adding a comment. The header tool is only run on the currently open file, and we have optimized the process to have a minimal impact on performance. But if you want to, you can still disable the integration in the settings. We think that showing the results of Unreal header tool directly in the editor will make a big difference to how you work with the U-Object system. Make sure you download the latest version today and try it on your own code. Thanks for watching.